Hey, what's up, guys? Mitch HD here. Back again with a Garuda Indonesia 747400. Um, this is by J Fox and um, or and in flight, and it's in a one to two hundred scale model. Uh, check the description in case you missed anything in this video. My Facebook and Twitter links will be down in there as well. I pre-ordered this from EasyToys.com. Their website will also be down there in the description. And this is my twelfth. Uh, 747 model and it's my second Garuda Indonesia model some information about Garuda Indonesia and so if I, so if I pronounce any of these uh, names wrong I, I apologize um, operations base is out of Sokano Hatta International Airport um, in Tangerang Banten Indonesia main hubs are Sokano Hatta International Airport New Rai International Airport. Oh, sorry, New Rai Rai. Uh, Sultan Hassan Nudin International Airport. Uh, Kuala Namu International Airport. And Juanda International Airport. Focus cities uh, Sultan Aji Muhammad Sulaiman Airport. And Adi Susipto International Airport. They're founded on the 1st of August 1947. As KLM Inter Insulaire Bedrif. Fleet size as of the 24th of November 2015. Cons they have, um, their fleet consists of 141 aircraft, two are 747 400s. Uh, they have 102 destinations, and the last um, 747 commercial service operated on the 14th of January 2015. From Jeddah to Jakarta, and they currently use their 747s only for chartered flights and from flights um, from Indonesia to Mecca in Saudi Arabia for the Hajj pilgrimage. The first flight for this aircraft was on the 13th of December 1993, so it's a pretty old one, and delivered to Garuda on 14 January 1994. And the button customer code is U3. So let's take a look around the box here. So we've got the three different models that you could have ordered. Um, I did go for the current livery, which is the one at the top. I was deciding between this one and this one, um, but I just like this one more. So I went for the top one. As you can see, it's J Fox, but it's still uh, like an in flight release. Just some warnings. Indonesian Airways, which is was their um, original airline. Well, not the original, but you know the the one before they separated from the KLM um, startup. Okay, so let's take a look inside. Alright guys, so the model is now out of the box, um, but first I want to show you, um, this was the card that you always get with the in-flight models, so it's got J Fox, um, limited edition 96, so there were 96 made, uh, tells you the registration airline aircraft, J Fox on the back, um, I think there were 96 of each of the uh, liveries made, but anyway, let's start here. At the cockpit windows on the port side. Alright, so we have the nose cone, cockpit windows, window wipers. Then we have a cut from emergency tab. Part of the registration on the gear door, SG, pedo tube static ports. Indonesian flag, because they're a flag, the main flag carrier of Indonesia. Visit Indonesia. Um, uh, the sticker was used to promote tourism in Indonesia. No Sky Team logo, so I'm guessing this was before they joined. And then got the Garuda Indonesia titles. 
in the middle of the fuselage. We have uh, landing lights. And this is a um, a General Electric CF6 80C 21 sorry 2B1F engine. And let's take a look inside. Engine, yeah, you can see it's spinning. Yep, there we go. That one spins quite easily. So is that one. This one's got a bit of foam or polystyrene in it. Oh, oh no, it's actually no, that's the paint. That's actually part of the. That's had they haven't taken that off. Anyway, that engine does spin. Okay, can't really spin it with that thing in the way, but you get the idea. Okay, now moving along, we. It's the other engine. And continuing along the leading edge of the winglet and the red navigation light. Back onto the fuselage, we have another emergency cutting tab. Um, registration number PKGSG or Papa Kilo Golf Sierra Golf. And we have there. You know, the, the rest of the livery, the back of the aircraft, and on the tail. Um, so, uh, this delivery was um, is called Nature's Wing, and it is a revision of the previous livery and was introduced in 2009. It uses deep royal blue to show the. Um, so, the deep royal blue would be the darkest blue on here. And it, showed, it shows the wings of Garuda which is a bird-like creature that is a symbol of Hinduism and Buddhism and the aqua blue to show the ripples of the waves upon the water. So now let's take a look at the APU. Very nice APU, you've got the strobe light underneath here. Now on the cockpit window, so on the starboard side. Okay, so we have the registration number. Uh, on the gear door and um, cockpit windows and everything. Indonesian flag, there's the front cargo container door where the Visit Indonesia logo is. The inboard landing lights right there. Garuda titles. The CF6 engine. And the winglet on the side, and also the green navigation light. Rear cargo container door on the bulk bin door. Registration number. And then all their logo and everything on the tail. Okay, so now let's take a look underneath the aircraft. So there's the nose gear, antenna. Oops. There we go. Um, beacon light, main gears, gear doors. Pretty well detailed. Hole for the stand. Flaps, slats, ailerons. There's a little piece sticking out. There's a little fuel dump valve. Underneath the engine there. Same on this side. But with the registration number. Continuing down we have two more antennas. 
the cabin relief pressure valves or cabin pressure relief valves I should say um, another antenna and down to the APU housing on top we have the anti-collision light three antennas two ADF antennas and these uh, aren't painted on they're you know they're little um, pieces that have been glued on which is good so on the wing we've got flaps, slats, ailerons and spoilers same on the side but with the registration number there okay and continuing down got an antenna on the horizontal stabilizers there they've put two black circles quite easily visible but not quite as nice I would say as uh, what JC Wings do but um, those are the logo lights that light up the tail at night time well JC Wings and uh, Gemini Jets I should say Alright, so now let's take a look at uh, what the seating configuration is. Alright, so there is uh, only one seating configuration. Um, well, there really only needs to be for the charter flights. And, but anyway, main deck, um, we have executive, which is 42 recliner seats, rows 1 to 5, 10 to 12, and 14 to 16. So it's here to here and then we have economy there is the bottom row is economy uh, 323 seats <clears throat> rows 36 to 47 and 50 to 76 so it's here all the way to the back and the entire upper deck is economy 63 seats rows 21 to 23 and 25 to 32 that brings the total to 328 seats. Okay, so. Did I say 328 or 428? Sorry, 428 seats it should be. If I, in case I said 328, I wasn't sure. Um, anyway, sorry about that, you know, messing around. Um, gears roll quite easily. You know, this is something that JC Wings and Gemini should should learn from in flight is that the gears roll quite nicely with you know no restrictions at all. Front gear does swivel. So you can turn any way you want. Um they don't tilt though. So when you do move like this, it, the wheels are just gonna sit you know, sit off and just sit on the the very back two tyres, um, or four tyres in this case. Okay, um, let's take a look at the stand. So it's just a general in flight stand you get now. Guru Indonesia 747400 1 to 200 scale. Um, you got they come separate, so you've got to screw them on. Uh, it's quite an, a sturdy stand. Um, so yeah, I mean it's all metal with a, a wood wood base finish. So let's try it. Ooh. There's nothing inside there blocking it, but I'm not one to um say I'd keep it on this stand, just to be honest with you. almost horizontal um, anyway okay so that's what it looks like on the stand guys actually looks really nice um, and yeah this so actually this is about the end of the video right here um, so if you enjoyed this video please uh, Leave a like, um, comment, tell me what you think of this model.
tell me if you're going to get it. Uh, it's a really cool model. I recommend getting it. Uh, as there are only, I think, yeah, two in their fleet. So it's a really cool model. Um, subscribe for more. I have five previous unboxings. Go check those out. I have um, three plane spotting videos. I've just done two release videos of the in flight November and JC Wings December releases. Um, go check those out as well if you if you don't know what the the models are, the new models. And uh, I've got four more unboxings on the way, so stay tuned. Um, China Airlines 747, uh, Air Force One, um, and I've got two A340s from Phoenix, which are Thai and Etihad. So uh, yeah, you, you want to stick around. Um, and share this video so other people can know about this model and see if they want to get it as well because yeah I mean just look at it it looks great so um anyway guys I do really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time